If you're an age 30 plus gamer like me, then you spend more time buying games and watching stuff on YouTube than actually playing them. If that resonates with you, I'm gonna help you guys build a perfect gaming home theater system so it actually makes your gaming experience better. Since Windows 10 support got sunset last month, that leaves us with either upgrading to Windows 11, which you know how predatory Microsoft really is, or you can turn to an alternative like Bazaar, which is kind of like a console, but also not. So let's do just that. In my previous video, I showed you guys how to build a powerful gaming setup step by step. Today, let's breathe life into it by setting up Bazite and getting it ready for your living room setup. Step one, download Bazite. First, grab a USB 3.1 flash drive. The three is important here and you need at least eight gigabytes. Head over to bazite.org and download the version that matches your hardware. I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, so this is gonna be an NVIDIA GPU installation guide for Bazite. So I'm gonna select the home theater PC edition and the vendor should be NVIDIA, environment, KDE, Plasma, or SteamOS-like interface. Step two, create the installer. Next, download Rufus. That's what we'll use to flash the ISO onto our USB drive. Open Rufus, select the correct drive, choose the Bazite ISO, and write it in ISO mode. Click start and wait for the process to complete. It only takes a few minutes. Step three, boot and install. Once the flash drive is ready, restart your PC and open your boot menu. Select the USB drive and then choose test and install NVIDIA from the menu. If this is your first PC, then you'll directly enter the boot menu. When the installer starts, pick your language, choose your target drive, and make sure it has free space. Click, inst click start installation and let the setup run. It should only take a few minutes. Step four, first boot. After it's done, reboot your system. Select English, select your time zone. I'm in Canada, so I'm gonna pick this one. And connect to the internet. I've just plugged in ethernet, so it gets easier. Once it loads, you'll see the Steam logo and the login screen. I'm gonna use my phone to log in with the Steam QR code. And right there, I'm in. All my Steam games are right here ready to install. Do you notice this UI lag? Let's fix it. You might notice that the UI, feel, the UI feels a lot sluggish. It has a pretty easy fix. Let's press the Steam button, go to power, switch to desktop. Once you're in desktop, open the Steam application. Go to settings, interface, and scroll down and enable GPU accelerated rendering. Now your interface will feel way smoother. Honestly, this feels smoother than Windows 10 or even Windows 11 on my 5090 system. If you're unfamiliar with Steam, you can go into your individual games and start downloading them, like I have done. So I'm gonna install No Man's Sky. Now let's expand your game library beyond Steam. Open the Bazaar Marketplace. It's Bazite's built-in app store. Search for Heroic Launcher then click install. Once it's done, open Heroic and you'll see the options to sign in with Epic Games, GOG, or even Amazon Prime Gaming. I'm signing in with Epic, so I'll click Login, Epic Games, and I'm gonna log in with my credentials. And once you're in, your entire Epic library will appear. And they'll integrate nicely with your Bazite desktop or Steam big picture mode. Okay, optional step, the home theater setup. I mentioned at the beginning that this is gonna be a gaming home theater. So now that gaming's ready, let's make it the perfect living room setup. Click the Bazite icon in the bottom left corner and open the Bazite portal. You'll see a few different tabs. Head to media applications. Here's what I'm gonna install. I need YouTube because I watch that a lot. I'm also gonna download Netflix, Prime Video and anything I and anything else you watch regularly. Let's add some gaming tweaks. While we're still here, let's install a few extras. Let's get Deculoader for plugins and UI tweaks. 
lossless scaling for frame generation. Yes, even your graphics cards that do not officially support frame generation can get frame gen for free. And Bazai tweaks, quick customization and optimization tools. And here's a neat trick. You can even set it up to dual boot back into Windows whenever you want, right from the Bazai portal. And that's it. Your home theater PC is now up and running with Bazai. You've got the full power of your desktop, a clean console-like interface, and all of your favorite media apps in one place. All right, in the next video, I'm going to take a look at HDR and compare HDR with HDR found in Windows 10 and see if it's worth switching to over if you have an HDR setup.